Hey guys, welcome to Zep Collector 98 and today I'm here to show you two fruits. I work at a grocery store. In case you don't know, I work in the produce department as well. So I'm always in the know of when we get new things in and I'm always ready to try them too. The first thing is, okay, this looks like a regular grape to you, a regular green grape, but it's actually something really unique. It has a unique flavor, if you guys can guess what it is. No, probably not. There are cotton candy grapes. And I'm dead serious, they taste like cotton candy. Most of you guys are probably gonna think that they're just sweeter, more sugary. And that's what a lot of my friends and family thought too. I actually gave them to them as a sample. And they're like, well, they're probably just gonna be sweeter, but and they didn't expect it to taste like cotton candy at all, honestly. And this company, no, they're called The Grapery. And on the front of the bag, they say sustainably grown non-GMO. And what that means is it's not genetically modified. And genetically modified, most people would think, well, that's how those grapes must taste like cotton candy. They change something in its DNA to make it taste like that. Actually, you guys are wrong if you think that. They, I did a little research, actually, and what they did is they basically did a bunch of trial and error, and they crossbred two different types of grapes, and one happened to work out that tasted like cotton candy. And apparently they can get many different flavors out of these mixes. And they also have, I believe, a mango flavored one. And there's many more to come. They're working on different flavors and varieties right now, believe it or not. So I'm going to cut it open, show you guys that it just looks like a regular grape. There's no seeds in it whatsoever. As you can see right here, no seeds. So you can't just plant a seed in the ground and get a cotton candy plant, unfortunately. I wish that would be possible. But um, these grapes were $4.99 a pound, and that was crazy. This bag, I believe, came out to about $8.50, which is pretty expensive for grapes. And I'm going to try it now. Mmm. Yeah, tastes, I, can, I can't get over that flavor. It's insane how much it tastes like cotton candy. I could eat them pretty much all day, but because they're so expensive, I have to resist the temptation and only take a couple every like five minutes. But um, yeah, cotton candy grapes, they're delicious. They smell just like a regular green grape, look just like a regular green grape, but taste incredibly different. All right, the other fruit I'm gonna show you guys. Can you guess what this is? It's a fig. And this fig variety is the black mission. I'm just looking at the box that came in. This is what they look like in here. So it's the black mission. I'm trying to get it to focus. Anyways, whatever. I'm gonna cut this in half. We and that's what the inside looks like. So it's really weird. Like, it looks really, really weird. I don't know how to explain it, but a bunch of like seeds kind of like, it looks like the inside of a flower if you think about it. I don't know, when I was younger, I liked ripping off flowers off of plants and peeling the petals off and looking at it. It's kind of weird. I know, don't judge. But yeah, so you can eat the skin and everything. I'm going to take off the stem though. I don't want to eat the stem. But yeah, you can eat the skin and everything. If you don't feel comfortable eating the skin, you can always just uh, peel it back like that kind of and pop it out. And then you can just nibble on it, you know? but I'm gonna eat the skin, and all. Mm. It's pretty good. I mean, it's not my favorite. Not something to die over, like, I've gotta have it. But um, it's not like overly sweet or anything. It's really like subtle. The flavor is really like delicate, and the sweetness is so-so. I know it's right because the skin is like supposed to give a slight give when you press on it. 
the flavor is pretty floral actually it tastes kind of like a flower and yes if you're wondering how I describe what a flower tastes like I was in Hawaii and they have these little orchid flowers that they decorate the plates with and they're like purple and they're all they're completely edible those are disgusting by the way those are nasty but um, it kind of has that flavor actually so I don't know I just got a crunch Oh, and those Fig Newtons, guys, those don't taste anything like this, by the way. Those are loaded with sugar and other things. But these are, they're, they're okay. They're pretty decent, actually. Um, that was $4.49 for a little box like that. I don't know. There's, let's see, um, 10. There were 10 figs in it, so I don't know how good of a price that is. And also, guys, I'm growing purple potatoes. I actually just harv harvested some, excuse me. And apparently they taste just like regular white potatoes. You can make them just like a regular potato. And, well, we'll see how, they, how that turns out. I guess um, they're really, like, healthy because the flavor or, like, the color in it provides, like, more nutrients and... Um, uh, what's the word? I can't think of it. But yeah, it has like more nutrients and oh, antioxidants. Maybe that's what it is. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna try that. See how that works. I also think I'm gonna hold off on making that part two of the Hawaii video only because I'm running out of time. I've gotta start applying for colleges and school's starting up soon. And I really want to have a good like ending summer. So um, if I ever make that. I guess I'll let you guys know about that or you'll just find out, but it might be a while. It was just pictures that I took in Hawaii of like the flowers and the plants that were there and like some birds and fruit and stuff like that. So if you guys are disappointed about that, I'm pretty sorry. But I uh, moved the dragon fruit plant outside. I listened to you guys' advice and it worked. I just needed some sunlight, it turns out. The stalks, the plant stems are getting pretty big now. Unfortunately, there's no uh, flowers or fruit. But yeah, so I'm also growing in the garden cantaloupe and watermelon. Blackberries are doing very well this year. We got a huge crop. Uh, we got an apple tree honey crisp. We only got like four apples on it. So I don't know what, what's going on. Maybe it was just a bad year. But last year we got a load, so that could be why. So yeah, thank you guys for watching this video, and I'll be back to return with another tropical fruit that I'm hopefully going to get in at the place that I work, and we'll find out if it actually comes in. It's been a while. I've tried so many times to get it in, and the manager keeps telling me they don't know if they can get it in, but they said that they're working on it, so maybe in a week or two we'll get it, and I'll do a fruit review on it. 